let's say we're in our position, we're going we're to be fighting, right? And I'm trying to get in. I'm not shooting no jabs and stuff. Okay, since you're faster than me, you're probably going to be throwing jabs. Okay, okay, throw your jabs. See, notice what I'm doing. I'm trying to catch. Just shoot my elbows. I'll shoot my elbows in, you know? I'm just shooting my elbows, you know, about my hip here. That's how I'm using my elbows, okay? I'm shooting here, boom. I'm not throwing any technique. I'm just trying to break you down. Okay, so I'm using my elbows. I can use it. You might hit me here. You throw a punch. I might go like that and make you hit my elbow. That's going to hurt, okay? Let's say you're throwing a punch and I just shoot to the side. I'm trying to catch that muscle, okay? I'm using an elbow. Let's say my hand is up like this and you're shooting with this hand. I'm coming down on you, okay? So I'm sh using short range weapons, okay? okay? I'm just using those. Okay, now. Let's say you're shooting a punch and you come by and I brush block it and I shoot the elbow coming to this back hand. Okay. okay. So what I'm doing is you cannot come back because I got my elbows here. So when I'm shooting from here, I'll buckle you right here. Boom, my hand. Yeah. Here, a buckle. It's called a buckle. Yeah. And then bam, hit uh -huh. you here or hit you on the groin. Okay. Isn't that part of that eight count like when you see yeah. this and you see this and you yeah, see yeah, this? Yeah. Only I'm just trying to break down. It's taking, a, counts, right? taking simple numbers and making them grow. Okay. okay. So, I'm um, here. Again? I'm trying to kick up because I'm afraid to get hit. So, you know, I'm, I, I just, I just, boom, oh, that hurt, didn't it? Yeah. See, see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm just, so, so you know that it does work. <laughs> yeah, it works. So you don't have to ask questions. <laughs> you, you'll get the answers. I'm sorry. It's all right. See, no. see, when you're punching, look, see, I keep my hands up. Yeah. What I'm doing, I, sh I, I just throw the elbow. Yeah, and it yeah, hurts. Yeah. So, bam, I just really throw it out. I just go, whack. Yeah. So I'm trying not to co just cover myself. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going, bam, bam, bam. I'm throwing the elbow, boom, boom. Boom, it goes inside. It hurts. That's why I'm trying to get you to learn. Yeah. You go bam, you go bam, you go fast. Just like those blocks. Yeah. Like, bam, bam. Okay? So you see elbow. These are blocks. Boom. Okay. okay? Shoot them up. Boom. Boom. When you shoot it up like that, it covers that whole sequence. Okay. So you should notice they go like this. So that's your cross, right? It goes up. Bam. Bam. You see? Because it's blocking. Notice I keep my hands. Remember I did here? Look. Here's it blocking. I just keep it like this, because let's say, you, yeah, the last, let's say I'm trying to get you, I go like this, I cross it like this, yeah. that's a cross block. That's when I'm grappling that cross block for a reason, so I can get behind me like this, oh. see? see here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but you covered all that up, all I see is your head, you got to keep, yeah, oh, keep, keep in view of that. Because you're reacting too much, okay, look, <laughs> this is the cross block that's at the kata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look, these are the blocks, but these yeah. are also elbows. Yeah. Okay. These elbow blocks. Okay. So sometimes you can you don't know how to box it. So what you do, you put your hands that are hitting your hands. It's okay. Because what I'm doing, I'm trying to crowd him, get in, get into him. See. Okay. So I got this hand or this hand. See. Okay. So, so I can go inside. Oh, so slow. Now see. Now watch. Push your elbow. See what happens? Right. See. See what happens? See what's happening? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, that, you're off balance. Now watch what I do with my hand. Put my hand behind my head. You feel it? Mm-hmm. Now I put you out right there. See? This is neck yeah. power. This is short range weapon here. Making leverage out of your body. Yeah. See, yeah. it's still a short range weapon. Using that's some short range weapons right now, okay? Mm -hmm. So, because I'm trying to tie you up, I'm trying to stay in. Okay. So, okay? so that's why when you learn kata, and this, and you come in, you, you can push the kata like that. Just push, just going into him like that. See? Yeah. It's confusing him. Now you yeah. can't punch. Because I got two things coming at you, you got to do still two things. Yeah. What are you trying to do this here? Like this? <laughs> I got you crossed ah! here. <laughs> so, that was a good one. so back to the numbers. Okay, back so back to the basics. Okay. So boom, double elbow, right? Now watch here. Since this is your lead, okay. I'm shooting this way. Oh. This is coming in here. Okay. Okay? So I'll come ah boom, bam, back. back to that. Okay. See? So we're here. Slower, slower. Okay. Cross block. Okay. Elbow. Elbow. No, sir, I'm in a horse. Yeah. I can buckle you. Okay. If I buckle you, now watch this. Watch what happens. Go yeah, down, go down. down. Don't fight it don't or you'll break it. and flatten See, your leg. Break you right here. Flatten your toe out. Hmm. It'll help. Hmm. Well, leave your toe like that. I'm showing you. Leave your toe like that. I'm showing right, you why. That's so what he... happens. You go like this, they're going to break your foot. Oh, I see, I see. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just showing you how you disable the opponent. See, so if I'm going like this, and, and I shot from here, I cut you with the elbow, okay. and I buckle you here, and I'm going to drop on the ground, it's going to break your leg. Oh. Okay. Or it'll disable you yeah, for yeah, a bit. It'll break that toe. Knee or something. 
So any time you cause injury to your opponent, it makes him weaker. He's not going to try yeah. to fight you so aggressively. Yeah. So I eliminated this weapon. Okay. So kind of I eliminated this weapon. How? Because when I hit you here, it yeah. puts it kind of to sleep, so you can't use it as much. Okay. So let's say when I catch you here, I'm back on that bicep. Oh. Okay. So you can go boom, boom, pow. Okay. So when I'm hitting you, these are big parts of the body. Just like if I go down like this and hit the leg, yeah. boom, right here, boom, the groin, back the head. That's out of that sequence. Yeah, well, you yeah. see, just as a continue all, down, hit, the, go for the that's elbow. That's all out of the one. Well, no, go with the sequence, elbow. Yeah, go, 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 come in on top of the knee with the elbow. Get in the okay. horse stance outside of him. Go on the outside. He's dropping. Okay, now. Uh, if he strikes to the groin, Joe, what is your natural reaction if you strike to the groin? What is your you natural down. reaction? Okay, boom. Let's see, That's it brings, sequence. in other words, if you were hit, if I just tapped you like that, you'd go like this yeah. automatically. You've done it before playing football yeah. or so. Okay, look. One. That brings two, all three. the other stuff. That's see the that? That's sequence. So remember the sequence where you go, bam, boom. See, so look, boom, boom, bam, bam. That's a sequence. Now watch this. Watch what I'm going to do here. Watch. You're going to go down. Yeah. Okay. And if it's done up. hard and fast, you'd probably even do a flip in the yeah, air and, will, and land will. on the top of your head, and okay. most of the work is Yo, done. Is there a scoop, possibly? Sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Scoop. Yeah. Scoop. Well, right here, watch. Wow, well, one, two, three, four. Now watch what I do. Boom. Yeah, you're gonna go there. Yeah, you're gonna if, do. if you're going to, That's which you thought drop. about it, if you if you lock your leg around mm -hmm. and get your foot almost going with his foot, go with the natural flow of the foot. Go and lock him in so he knows it's. When you lock around behind, if you get your foot in line with his foot, in other words, no, no, let he he gets his foot in line with your foot and scoop forward with the knee. It's almost it drags forward, mm -hmm. just, just mm -hmm. as he's pushing sure. forward. Sure. You see? It's, oh, you don't know how to fall, do you? Oh, you fall. <laughs> no, you fall like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, I didn't you know. know. You're <laughs> learning right now, dude. No, you fell just the way a street fighter would fall. Is it hurts when you fall if you well, don't you know fall, how you to hit fall. Your elbow right now, you hit down concrete. No, you're supposed to slap. Yeah, your hand. You, this would go crazy bone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. When you no, fall no, like this, instead of hitting the elbow, slap. All right. Okay. I'm always catching with the elbows. No, then you'll break it. I'm gonna break my wrist. No, <laughs> no. no. I'm gonna break. If you fall and you go like this, a full slap. You slap. You leave the hand open. Yeah, straight open, huh? Yeah. This. Oh, that's, so, I thought you just camel thing there. No, no, no they're here. feathers. Oh. Aren't those feathers? Mm. No, it's uh, leaves. leaves. Oh, leaves look like an eagle yeah, feather. Okay, the um, review. One, two, three, four, choke, okay, slow, good, and go okay. slow. Okay. So it's the the Albert sequence helps you to, to uh, execute other technique. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let's say I'm in a position. Elbows at short range are stronger than long arms. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys like to grab, but see, if I have my elbow like this, I can pull you down. Yeah. Anytime I got my elbow, okay, let's say you got your arm on me like this, and I shoot like this, well, watch what my elbow does. Okay. Feel it? Yeah. I bring you down with the elbow. Okay. Okay. So, if you're not too high, and I go up like this, look, look, look what's going on. See? Yeah. It's locked in. It hurts too. It hurts. Yeah. <laughs> And that's it's from this. You're right on that. You're right on the pressure. It's going up and down. Turn, turn your bodies more. This, in other words, you go that way. It goes right about there. That's that's good. Okay. Remember, this is the sequence. Up, down. Okay. Okay. You caught me here before I can do my sequence. So I, all I can do is go up and come down. See? With yeah. the elbow. That's the yeah. downward elbow. Okay. Oh. Now watch this. Back up. Oh, okay. See? Up, down. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming down on you. Boom! Oh. This way. It's back up like this. Yeah, now watch this. Oh, oh you okay? Yeah. Drop here. Bam! He's fine. Boom. Okay? You got a sack tap thrown in there? <laughs> 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 whenever you're in a contention, you always shoot whatever you okay, can, so whatever's time. available. Okay, okay, one more time. Okay. Slow. Just for the camera. Okay. okay. I'm, I, you know, I'm trying to get it out of the way. So, ah, I shoot the elbow. Okay? Boom. Oh. Then I can catch up from here. Okay? I can do it here. Back here. Uh, use the sword. But let's use short range weapons. Now watch that blossom. See? Okay. See what happened? Yeah. Okay. And if he that. just ran back, you're going it's down. Steel. Look what we, look what I was using. Watch. Yeah. This way. So the camera can see okay. it better. No. Watch what I'm using. Okay. Let's say I hit you with the elbow. Now since the elbow is there, uh -huh. if I open my hand, my elbow is still there. Yeah. I'm just letting the elbow, with the point of it, bring uh -huh. you down. See it? Yeah. See the elbow still using. Look. See the elbow? Uh huh. See how? Huh? 
But the reason, if I could just do it like this, but why I put my hand, it, it gives it me more balance. More, yeah, more power. See? Definitely. Okay. okay. And it's still using short range weapons. Yeah. Still using the elbow, see? Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people say handicapped people, if they don't have this, they learn to use the elbows. That's why they used to start using just the elbow. Since you got to remember, that's all we got is these short range weapons, so we have to learn to use them. If you're afraid to extend because you're afraid to get hit, then just use your elbows and cover up. Yeah. Keep your jaw down so they don't hit you here. Even if they're hitting you, you're covered. Okay? Now, let's say I want to use a long range weapon. Boom! <clears throat> I used a long range weapon. I used the hammer fist right down to you. Yeah, you're blocking. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you got it from the cut now. Yeah. Okay? So, now, bam! Oh, shit! <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> you no, know, it, it's, it's just that, you know, you've you're got too much on your mind. Yeah, okay. So, so a lot of times, let's say, I, I, I go like this and you block it, you block it. Pow! Okay, watch it. Oh, yeah. See how the elbow's short range? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going, wow, but you blocked it, right? Mm -hmm. Look. Come right back here. Okay. Scoop right up. Okay, now watch this. And you, you can come back right up here. You go, bam, boom. Yeah, yeah. It just takes a little jerk. Yeah, yeah, snap. Yeah, just a little snap. Okay. That's it. Okay. See so how we're using a short range weapon? Okay. Side. Okay, from here. Same thing. Look. Yeah, bam. Look what I'm doing. I'm just catching. Boom. Right underneath. Up. Back down. Okay. Okay. Now I go up. Now. Now watch. I'm gonna drop. You're gonna go down. Yeah. See? Now watch this. It? it throws you off. You're going one okay. way. Yeah, I see, I see. That's the motion of Aikido. Makes you go one way and then snap you back yeah. the other way so you're off. Gets you off your guard. Off, off, off balance. Off balance. Oh, hold it. Plus Sorry. pain. First principle is conditioning. In conditioning, what do you mean conditioning? I mean, you take that one conditioning principle and what do you got to do with it? You got to do a lot of work. You got to run. You got to jump rope. You got to do push. You got to do whatever it takes. Climbing mountains, whatever to build that. Yeah, yeah, it's not rolling little zigzags and all yeah, that. Yeah. That's not conditioning. Conditioning, you can beat people only being in condition. You say, why is that? Because let's say you get in a fight on the street and this guy starts attacking you and you just move around, move around. You can move because you're in condition. Yes. He can't move around because you're out of shape. If you can run around a car right. three times, that person will be on their face. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm trying to say, just with that one principle of fighting, you still can win a fight. Okay? But let's say this guy's in, got the same condition you got. Okay, now, how are you going to beat this opponent if you get the same thing? So now, you've got to add the second principle. What's the second principle? Constant movement. Yeah. Okay, so if you're, kind of, you're over here, I'm like this. I'm, I'm trying to distract you, okay? But, what if you're doing the same thing you're doing? Okay, now, what's, we got to do the third principle. Third principle is what? What do you think it would be? Distance. Yep. Critical distance. Critical distance. Okay. Stay away. So I'm right here. You can't get me. Yeah. Okay. I'm like this. I'm I'm I'm, I'm just moving around. Okay. So. Take cock out of you. Who Okay. Now. What? I gave you. Why? Gave you three principles. I just. What are the three principles? Conditioning. <laughs> Constant movement. Constant movement distance. Critical, critical distance. Okay, two more. Timing and speed. Okay. Okay. So now I got all this. Okay. And you're moving. Learn to die. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Boom! I got you. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Why I got you? That's called timing. And the other reason I got you was speed. speed yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so those five principles you got to memorize. Okay. Okay. Go. Teach me two next. <clears throat> yes. Not right now, not right now. You should have already waited a little bit. Boom. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Put his foot on you. <laughs> no, I'm just being serious. Yeah. If, if I was serious. He's a young man and your age and all of that. Look at what, 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 what you ran all over him, you know. So you get cocky on the street and say, well, I'm going to... Don't underestimate... Oh, another thing. Remember, not, don't underestimate nobody. Okay. Yeah. Don't oh, judge yeah, a book yeah. by its cover. Okay. Yeah. They say don't judge it. Because this book might be all ugly, but it has the best story. Yeah. There's a, a book that has the prettiest cover and it don't have nothing. So, you know, you don't underestimate anybody. You know? Anybody. Because I'm going to tell you, the person I fear the most, you know who I fear the most? A police officer. You know why I fear a police officer? Because he's just scared of you. And since he has the law with him... He goes like this. Back up. Yeah. Back up. Back up the And then this. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, Holter, I'll shoot. But, but I'm going to show you. I'm <laughs> it's a good one. one. That's what they do, too. What do you mean it's a good one? It's done every day. They're scared of you. Okay, they, they, they're trained to be scared of you. 
understand. And some people are too scared. They shouldn't even be police officers. Yeah. They have no common sense. Mm -hmm. But another person who you should worry about is a person who's as scared of you, period. Okay? Because a person that's scared of you, uh, he's not going to approach you the way you think he's going to approach you. You know, I'll, I'll come up, I'll kick you away, you know, because I know I can kick you out. Mm -hmm. But what if you got the damn knife right there and I'm coming out and bam, you yeah. stab me? Okay? Because you're scared. Yeah. See, so that's why you don't underestimate anybody. Oh, yeah. You know, because you don't know what they got. You don't know if they got a knife. You don't know if they got a gun. You know, you don't know anything like that. That's why you don't look for fights. When you drink, a lot of people who drink, they mm -hmm. get cocky. Oh, man, all the time. I'm going to tell you, I was a bouncer at the Copper Penny at different yeah. places. And the first thing that I learned is after uh, it's hit 2 o'clock, be cautious. Oh, because that's when, it all that's when everybody's drunk. Yeah. And that's when they don't want to leave. And that's when, you know, that's when you have to be cautious. That's why, like, I don't drink anyway. I don't go to nightclubs. And if I did go when I was going with my, my wife, because she liked to drink, I said, let's go. She didn't never want to go. She wanted to close the bars. She pissed me off all the time because it always ended up, I had to end up getting in fights. Yeah. And I kept telling her, you know, Charlotte, that's why we get kind of, that relationship was no good. Because the thing was, she had no respect for my, my wishes, right? And I was trying to protect her and me. I could tell her, well, I want to please her. So I took her to the, you know, because she wants to go dancing, she wants to eat. But she did to drinking, and then she wanted to party all night, mm. okay? So she was disrespecting me. Yeah. So the whole thing was, I'm saying to her, you know, we're going to make this a limit. You take so much, then we go home. We don't close the bar. We leave the bar. Okay, because we don't want to get in any comfort 